Welcome to the RAD Exchange, Radiology Concepts hosted by Beam Leaders. My name is Craig Dial. Today, we're gonna to talk about sleep-related cone beam CT scan protocols. Now, the role of imaging in cone beam CT scans for analysis of the upper airway is growing. Imaging permits visualization and calculation of the upper airway dimensions. Imaging also provides an objective tool to measure treatment outcomes. It helps correlate airway dimensions with cranial facial growth. Cone beam permits the study of patient's anatomy and the presence of pathology and the risk for airway obstruction. And I'm here today to talk about how do we get a good scan so we can answer those diagnostic questions. First thing we think about when we're scanning a patient is the field of view. We want to make sure that we capture the area of interest, such as nasion, tip of nose, C-spine down to C2 or more. And if we can capture the hyoid, that would be also a benefit. So the field of view choices, depending on your machine, I would probably choose a 15 by 15 field of view or maybe 15 by 12 under this particular scanner. And patient setup before taking the scan, it's best to remove all metallic objects as we know that does increase noise into the scan and introduce noise. So if the patient has metal, ask them to remove their earrings or necklaces. If they have hearing aids or partials, glasses and any other metallic structures from their face. The more uh, metal we get rid of, then the cleaner the scan will be. Your cone beam scan settings. You don't necessarily need a high resolution scan for airway studies. A voxel size of 0.3 or 0.25 should be sufficient. Therefore, you can also use a short scan time setting or medium time scan setting. And that's gonna be based on other things that you want to know about in the scan. For more information about scan time settings and image resolution, please visit one of my other videos. Patient positioning. We like to have the patient's face in a natural head position. So typically we have the patient look straight ahead and have their head in their natural position. We have to ask the patient to swallow right before the scan and remind them to not swallow during the scan as this can directly affect the airway dimensions. Have the patient's teeth closed in their habitual bite whether it be centric occlusion, centric relation, or whether you've made them um, a sleep apnea appliance to wear during the scan. And we like to have the patient's tongue on the roof of the mouth so the tongue is not postured posterior and giving us incorrect measurements. This is an example of tongue position. The image on the right is a correct tongue position case where the tongue is on the roof of the mouth and you can see the airway space is closed. And then the one on the left, the airway space on the palate is open. And therefore the tongue is postured back and it's not giving us accurate airway information. So tongue position is critical. And then during the scan, remind the patient the importance of keeping their teeth together, holding very still and breathing normally. So for cone beam airway studies, the airway scan protocol, capture the full head, remove all the metal, set the voxel size and the scan time appropriately, position the patient in natural head position, give the patient pre-scan instructions about keeping their teeth closed, holding still, and during the scan, keep the patient engaged while scanning by letting them know to breathe normal and continue to hold steady. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Craig Dial.